Well, hello, and I uh, wanted to talk to you guys uh, about um, our trip that we made to San Antonio, Texas, and uh, we're putting up right here in the Amtrak. Um, I believe uh, one of the stops here in the Texas area, and so we've been traveling across the land here in Texas, and we're on the Amtrak in San Antonio. And shout out to the brother, brother E, who was in San Antonio. Uh, who had a situation that he wanted me to pray about. And I pray that uh, you guys are helping me to pray with Brother E. Uh, he knows who I'm talking about. Uh, and listen, everybody, each and every one of us is going to have our faith challenged. And so that's what I really want to kind of like comment on and say a few words about. Because, you know, as we go through these times uh, in this life, we're going to be challenged in our faith. And a lot of things that uh, happen also take us by surprise. Now, I wanted to say uh, this too. Um, I've had health challenges in the past, and I've had issues in the past where, again, it's been pretty frightening. Doctors have told me different things, and it's always been the worst. And sometimes you can think the worst, especially in circumstances where it involves you and your personal health. It's, you know, it's, it's a lot easier to think about um, a financial struggle or uh, anything that happens outside of us, a relationship problem, it, it, those are different, of a different nature. But when it involves your health, there's really nothing you can do about it uh, that you feel like you can do about it. But really, there is. That you can pray and you can believe God in a different way. And so, I guess I wanted to talk about um, from uh, First John, I believe it's in First John chapter 4. First John chapter 4 starts out talking about believe not every spirit that um, trust, test the spirits to make sure that they are from God or whether they are from the enemy or from God. And a lot of times when we hear things, uh, it's not from God. It's from another spirit. It's, it's, it's something that the devil is sending our way. Whatever we hear and we allow into our heart will begin to manifest in our life. And, and if you don't want these things to manifest in your life, you have to repel them with the word of God. That's why the Bible says, Believe not every spirit, but test the spirits to make sure that what you're hearing is coming through the filter of the Holy Ghost, right? Because the Holy Spirit is the one who has the final word. The God has the final word. He's the one who has authority over your life. If God says it, it's going to happen. If God doesn't say it, it's not going to happen unless you believe that spirit. And that's why it's critically important for you to test the spirit to make sure that that word that's coming to you is straight from the mouth of God because Satan wants to hijack a word. He wants to get you off course. He wants to remove that faith from you. And what God wants to do is he wants to use whatever the devil is bringing against you to strengthen your faith. And I'll give you an example. Uh, we are riding on a train track right now and that train goes back and forth, back and forth, and jumps up and down on that track. And you know, I have to believe that the engineer who created this train and also came up with the idea of a railroad system knew what they were doing and that we are going to make it safely from our point of origin to our destination. Now we know in this world, things fail. Uh, rail Trains are derailed all the time and things happen, trains end up in train crashes. All kinds of things happen. But that was not the original design. And the original design was that the train stay on the rail. And for most most cases, it does exactly what it was designed to do. Now, I want to take that a step higher and tell you that God has you on a rail. He has you on a destination, a place where he wants to take you. And that place is going to be a place of good and not evil because that's the way God works. The Bible says that God came to give us life and that more abundantly. That's what Jesus said in John 10, 10. He said the thief is the only one that comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God has come and paid the price on the cross for you to have an abundant life. And when he died on the cross and he had that crown of thorns pressed down on his skull and he took that beating for us, that whooping, the Bible says that he was wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. And so all of that whooping that he took, it would be an insult for us to say it's something we could do to stop God's blessing program. 
you are God's railroad system for blessings and power and benefit. He says, listen, I have plans for you, Jeremiah 29, 11. I have plans for you to prosper you and to bring you to an expected end. And so we have to begin to begin to let those words come out of our mouth. Put that in your ear. Don't believe every spirit that comes along. Get a second opinion. Get a spirit second opinion. I'm not talking about opinion from a doctor. I'm talking about a second opinion from God. If the devil tells you that I'm going to destroy you and I'm going to kill you and you're going to lose this and you're going to lose that, stop letting the devil tell you that without getting that second opinion from the Holy Ghost and get that second opinion from God. And don't believe every spirit that comes your way, but believe and trust in God. Get your word out and believe that the word says that, you know, hey, we can endure for a night, but joy is going to come in the morning. A thousand will fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but no evil plague shall come near your dwelling place. You're going to be looking up to the hills from whence come your help, and your help is going to come from the Lord. you got to realize that God has put more it, it's into you than what the devil is even able to try to take out of you. He can't take you out sorry, until God is ready for you to leave. So right now, I just want you to walk in God's plan. Don't believe every spirit that, that comes from the devil. Trust him and, and just rejoice today that you have help, you have blessing, you have favor, you have abundance because Jesus took the whooping for us so that we will be guaranteed to have eternal life. You can't lose your salvation because you are already in him and he's already in you. And so the Bible says, uh, Jesus said, look, I have you in my hand and, and I'm in God's hand and the devil in hell can't pluck you out. Now listen, don't think that you're going to lose nothing when God has already told you I came to give you abundance and blessings in a way of faith. So uh, that's my word for you for the day. I hope this has been a blessing to you. Uh, I want to pray with you and ask God to bless you today. Heavenly Father, I pray, Father, for the many people, of God, that are on this broadcast. I pray in the name of Jesus that you, God, give them comfort and peace today and that they'll walk in your victory and assurance. And somebody needed this word today, God, that you, Lord, are for them and not against them. And, Father, I pray, Father, even for my brother E over there, God, um, in, in Texas, Lord, back there. I thank you for him. I thank you, God, that he's, Father, just walking in victory in San Antonio and for all my other brothers and sisters in the various areas. In Jesus' name, would you bless him, please, Lord? In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Hey, it's been a blessing, a privilege just be knowing you all this time. If it's uh, this broadcast has been a blessing to you, go ahead and let me know. Um, it's always wonderful to hear from you. Remember until next time that Jesus is the light of the world and his truth. It's just that you God bless.